Today I have a rustic fall decor piece using dried flowers I did on my own. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. Today I am working with a product called Wise Dry. It is flower drying silica gel crystals. I was sent a five pound bag to try out and give my honest opinion. So that is what I'm going to do today. I want to show you how to make a pretty little arrangement. So the package comes just like this. It has a zip top, so you can just rip the top off and then open it up. It is sealed separately in a bag, and then your instruction manual is inside as well. So it came very securely to me. In here, you're going to find all of your instructions, and there are colored pictures in here, so it's very easy to follow these directions. You can even use these crystals again. They can be reactivated, which is wonderful for the environment. So I'm going to use this bouquet that my husband went and got me. They are, I think this is an orange daisy, a little bit of wildflower spray in there, and then some fern pieces in the back. You can see how vibrant the orange and the yellow is. And I've decided that I'm only going to work with the yellow pieces and the orange pieces today because I thought these would be nice to put in a fall arrangement. I wanted to do a small arrangement to put on my desk. So this will be for myself. And I'm just going to follow the directions and take off anything that does not need to be there. I'm going to take off the stems and the wires that are used by the florist here. And then you can take off any excess greenery that you would like. I'm just going to separate the blue, take that out. I'll dry those separately for another project. And then the green will go just outside and it can be composted back into the ground. So there we go. You have to make sure that all your pieces are dry. Be sure that you follow your directions. And here are the things we're going to need for the conventional drying method, which I am trying today. Okay, so after everything's trimmed up the way it should be, I'm going to put these down in a bowl that will seal. And I'm going to cover them completely with my silica crystals. I'm going to take my lid, put it on, and put it aside. I'm going to wait four days. There is a time limit that you should wait and check it. And then we're going to start seeing what kind of treasures we can find down in these little bits and pieces. This is a sand-like texture. It's not sticky. If that kind of thing bothers you, it is not sticky at all. Just feels like sand to me. Okay, so I'm gently taking it out. I'm using the fluffy brush, which was recommended a soft brush. And just brushing away any of the little crystals that may be settling down inside of the little flower caps. And this yellow stuff, I'm not sure what it's called, but I know that um, we live in the country and this does something similar to this grows on the side of the road. What do you think this is? Is this goldenrod? Okay, so I'm just going to continue along. We're going to do each one. The stem all the way down the flowers, the back side of the flower heads, and in the front part. They're really not that noticeable. You can see when I pull it out, um, when you look at it, you can't really see those pieces as it is. But we're going to clean it up to make it have a nice presentation. And then there's my fourth one. Just brushing that all off. And it's very sturdy. I was surprised and happy to see that everything is staying in place. So now is time that we're going to get those daisies out. This part scared me a little. I really did not want to damage these. So I'm just going to shake it very, very carefully and then use that brush and start getting the little bits. You can see little bits out of that little spiky section in the back of the flower. And then there's the front. Notice the color change. This is like a rusty orange or 
yeah I would have to say like a rusty red or orange color really really pretty I was surprised but it's gonna be perfect for what I'm gonna be making okay so here is the oops this is the last flower and it had to be a problem well maybe I was too aggressive pulling it out who knows but we're just gonna put those aside and we're gonna save them because I always try to salvage anything that I craft with anything that I use and I think I can fix this so we're gonna give it a good dusting there there's where I lost my, my little flower petals and just set it down like that and save my little petals all right so I can put the lid back on set this aside clean it up and use it again at a later date we're gonna need some things for these flowers and we're gonna need some pieces for our arranging so this is a thrifted pick that I have but it looks like it came from Hobby Lobby originally I didn't pay anywhere near five dollars for that it's very pretty I like these colors I think it gives it a very nice rustic and cottagey look this beautiful handmade mug look at this it is stunning I found this also at Goodwill I don't know who made it but oh it's stunning and I'm gonna take a little foam floral ball I'm gonna use just a little glue because at some point when I take this apart I want to be able to use this cup to drink out of I'm gonna have my coffee in it or maybe some tea with honey okay so I'm gonna press that down in the bottom till it gets nice and set we're gonna use pieces of a hula skirt from Dollar Tree you're just gonna pull apart spool some around your hand almost like you're making a little bird's nest you're gonna twist and twist and pull and then trim it off and we're gonna use this to go right on top of that foam now if you have some moss you can certainly use that if you have some type of uh, greenery that you want to use you can use that paper shreds would work as well here whatever you have on hand is usually going to be the best thing it's going to save you the money okay we're all about saving money on this channel hey follow me on my social media Pinterest Facebook and Instagram all right now we got our base laid down and we got to find some way to make these flowers presentable so that we can put them down inside this arrangement I'm gonna use some floral wire you can get this pretty much anywhere floral wire you can I'm pretty sure you can get that at Dollar Tree as well I've got some pieces of floral picks that I have not used but I always save them because they are really handy for these projects I'm going to use this to make the stem sturdier so that it can be poked down in the foam because as is it's not going to go down in that foam it's um, you know it's a part of a living thing and it will crumble away and we don't want that to happen so we're going to reinforce it with a piece of these picks and a piece of floral wire and then we're going to use some glue in a moment and really give it some sturdiness same thing here and really you only need about probably five inches of the wire for each one of these if you don't have the wire you can certainly use something like um, floral tape if you have that that would definitely work here you just need some means to attach a wire stem to your woody stem and then I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that it doesn't slip out while we're trying to get it arranged and as it dries I'm just gonna balance it on the edge of that cup so that it doesn't stick down to my table you see what I'm doing there just kind of casing it in just like that and we're gonna do all four of these yellow pieces this way certainly wear some gloves if you've got sensitive skin if you're afraid you might poke your finger you know protect yourself and there we go again you can see what I'm doing okay now so once all those are sitting over there and the glue is drying we're gonna work on giving some new stems to these flowers we're gonna take just a piece of this thicker wire that I have and it does have some type of um, I don't know, trim or something around it. it makes it a little bit thicker and it's actually a softer wire I'm gonna twist it around my finger and flatten it out this is gonna make a little platform that we can put on the glue 
on the back of the flower and we can still rotate that head around a little bit so that it doesn't have to stand straight out. We want to be able to move things around and the wire gives us that advantage. So once we get that, those little stands made, we're just going to put some glue on the back and place them on the back of the flowers. Just like so. Now if you want to, you can put a little piece of something on top, a little piece of ribbon or whatever you need to make that more secure but I found that I really didn't need to do that. Now just with a little bit of hot glue I'm gonna start adding my petals back in and they're sticking together. So here we go just gonna add them back in uh, and it will close in that gap. It's not gonna look exactly as Mother Nature or God intended it to but hey it's gonna look a whole lot better than it did. I'm making sure that it's darker color is facing forward and the lighter color is on the back because that is the way that it is presenting to us in nature okay so hey not perfect but not bad at all see there yes I love the color that this changed to you can almost see, because the back is that lighter color, you can almost see, you know, how it was a lighter color in a previous life. Okay, so we're going to take the pick, which is on wire, and we're going to twist those things around to make them look the way we want them to look. You don't ever have to take a pick right out of the store and stick it down in the foam. Manipulate it a little bit. That's why it's on wire. I like the colors of these. I think some of the leaves really match and complement that mug. Now we're going to start putting in our pieces of our dried flowers. And you can see these go in great with those picks. I'm still trying to be careful that I don't break anything. You know, I'm being really gentle. But the payoff is so amazing. This turns out to be such a beautiful little rustic piece. I love it. Now all I'm doing there is just kind of moving that piece of skirt away, or a little bottom there, so that I can place that down in that foam. I don't want these to fall out. You see how sturdy that flower is? It's staying all in one piece. So we like that. Just trim it up, my little extra that's hanging out. I always like to look at my pieces, top, bottom, front, and back, you know, just look at all angles to see what needs to be where so we can add or subtract as needed. So we almost have all of our dried pieces in there. And now we can kind of figure out what it is we want to do next. Well, oh, there's my last pick. And this is how it is going to look. This is a first look because I actually do change a little bit around. But you're seeing it as I am seeing it when I'm making it. I look at it at all angles just like that to see what I need to change, what I need to move. And because nothing is really glued down to the surface in there in that foam, you can always move things around. So I'm not liking the top heaviness of all of those bronzy looking beads or seed pods being on the top. I want to bring some of that down. And this is just on a piece of plastic and foam. So it's very easy to cut. You can get beautiful picks at Dollar Tree if they're not sold out at this point. Add some hot glue and put those in wherever you feel like it needs to be. And so that's what I've done here. And here is my final arrangement. What do you think? I'm so happy to have been contacted by WiseDry to try these. This is not a sponsored video. 
but I really like this and I'm definitely you know I said before I live in the country so I will definitely be using this again some other ideas if you have a grandchild or a child who just brings you a little flower that they picked out of the yard you can preserve that and put it in an arrangement and what a sweet way to remember I love it you could also use if your teenager goes to some type of an event at school and they have flowers you know you can preserve those you can preserve a flower that your husband brings to you you can preserve flowers that you go on a romantic walk and you pick up along the way I love this you will be seeing me use this again I promise you I hope you enjoyed the video I'm so happy that you stopped by and I hope to see you again really soon bye